Hi, my name is Darius from Team Solo Mid, and these are my top five solo queue champions for patch 5.15. In no particular order, my five champions are Hecarim, Rise, Rumble, Gnar, and Aurelia. The reasoning for Hecarim is with Hecarim, its solo carried me to top four and ranked. Right now I'm currently ranked six, but my Hecarim win rate in Challenger is basically 80 to 90%. The reasoning for this is since Hecarim is such a dominant champion when it comes to abusing people and doing TP home guard. My most favorite thing to do with Hecarim is rushing Ninja Tabai after the flask with home guard and just running down the enemy AD carry at level 6 with Ignite and ult. Most of the time they'll die depending on how your bot lane's doing and if they don't you can always call up your jungler for a gank at level 6 and you'll probably kill your lane. The only bad part about playing Hecarim top is when you're playing against Ryze or Gnar because it's a lot harder to play against them or playing against AP ch champions in general but you can easily play around that with the home guard and high mobility that Hecarim has. With Ryze him as a champion, he's just ridiculous late game and early game. No matter what you do in solo queue, games will always go past 30 minutes. And when Ryze gets Roa, Seraphs, Void Staff, or even GA, he is always a really, really difficult target to take down. And because of that, he's in my top five because he's easily gets the late game without being punished and is very, very strong for winning in solo queue. Also, if you get one kill in the lane as Ryze, you pretty much have won the game as long as your team doesn't feed. The next champion is Rumble. He is my most played in solo queue on both of my accounts. And with Rumble, you can win lane and win the game for your team with team fights and good Rumble ults. Having very good heat control in lane against enemy champions for the maximum damage is very important. But at the same time, knowing when to ward and knowing when to t make a TP play is also really important. The very, very redeeming asset to Rumble is that once you hit level 6, you can easily TP bottom. And if it ends up being a 3 versus 3 against their top laner and bot lane, you'll automatically win because your ultimate's AoE is ridiculous. Because of this, Rumble's in my top 5 and easily can carry games at all ELOs. The next champion up is Nar. He's a very versatile champion that can be played in all situations, except against Cassiopeia, of course. And he generally beats every champion because of his itemization. If you're against Rumble as Nar, you can stack MR by going Hex Drinker and Spectrals. You'll just straight up win team fights and split pushing later on because Rumble can't really kill you. The other thing is, let's say you're against the Relia or any melee champion, you can go either Randuins into Mallet or you can go Black Cleaver into Randuins. These items make you pretty much impossible to chase and impossible to kill because you can just go back and forth and outkite the enemy with your W passive and your high mobility. Every skill on Nar is very, very useful, whether it's CC or getting away or just doing a ton of damage. He basically has like an extra three skills because of the way Mega Nar works. The downside to Nar is that the timing of using your rage bar is very, very important where you can be the strongest champion in the game or the weakest. But even the weakest champions in the game have their ways of fighting, which is why Nar and Mini Nar form this extremely good in poke comps and in kiting but also extremely good at diving when his Meganar is up, whereas sometimes Meganar is actually bad to have up, so it's kind of like 50-50, but depending on the time of the game. The last champion I have is Aurelia, because Aurelia is by far the easiest champion to play for top lane as a top lane standard, but she's also very, very hard to master. Knowing when to all in as Aurelia requires a true insight of a very good player and if you can get that all in Aurelia easily snowballs the easy, easiest out of the most champions after Riven. Thanks for watching this guide. Check out my other guides at lowclass.com. When comes up you can instantly beat them 1v1 or even 1v2 but Diana's is really solid overall in solo queue and it's really up to player skill how good she'll be. I think she's a really high skill kept champion.